الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلا علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو لحبت فی اللہ Now that we finish the holy month of Ramadan and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us taqabbalallahu minna wa minkum a'mal as-salih fi during the holy month of Ramadan may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala forgive us of our many shortcomings and one of the ways in which we make up for the shortcomings that we had during the holy month of Ramadan is by extra fasting nuafil and in a hadith which bi-idhnillah is well known to most of us and it's a hadith we've spoken about many times before probably every year during Ramadan and other than that is the hadith of Abi Ayyub al-Ansari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu anna rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal man saama Ramadan thum itba'ahu sitta min shawal 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 kana ki siyam al-dahar رواه مسلم. إن الحديث صحيح مسلم. فحديث أبي أيوب الأنصاري رضي الله تعالى عنه. He said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that whoever fasts Ramadan then follows it with six days from Shawwal. It is if he has fasted the whole year. So this shows us the reward immense and this is also this extra fasting is something which helps us to fulfill the shortcomings that we had during the holy month of Ramadan. In this hadith are fawaid kathira and many masail. Uh, some of these very important issues that arise with the, this hadith, one of the probably the one of the most important masail that the ulama speak about as a, as a fa'idah kabira is the hukum som sitta min shawal okay what is the ruling regarding fasting six days of shawal in this hadith of course it illustrates for us it's very clear dalalat and wa'ahira ala istahbab som sitta min shawal it's very clear and it's very apparent in its meaning showing us that it is mustahab or it is recommended to fast the six days of Shawal, to fast six days during the holy month of Shawal, which now we are entered into the month of Shawal. Today was Eid and it's the first of Shawal. And this is the madhab of the jamhur. Now this is, this is very nice because we're going to get into this issue. This is the methodology or the madhab of the jamhur. Mo most of the ulama hold that it is mustahab to fast uh, the six days of shawal after Ramadan. Okay, and the, the, nas, the nas, the text is very clear about that. Min huma shafi'i wa ahmidu ghayrihima. So from them is Imam Shafi'i and Imam Ahmed. وَقَالَ أَبُوْ حَنِيفُ وَمَالِكُ يَقْرُوا ذَلِكُ وَلَا يَسْتَحَبُ Imam Malik and Imam Abu Hanifa. So you, if you find our brothers who, are, who follow the, the Maliki Madhab or follow the Hanafi Madhab, that there's a chance, unless they're really trying to go with the stronger of the evidence by looking at this text and so forth, then they will probably hold this view as uh, Abu Hanifa, Imam Abu Hanifa and Imam Malik rahimahumullah jami'an that they held that it was actually disliked to fast the six days of Shawwal. Why? The reason why is the reason Imam Abu Hanifa and Imam Malik, Imam Malik, he says in his book Al Muwatta, Al Muwatta Imam Malik, Qal Al Malik fi Muwatta, Ma raaitu ahadin min ahl al ilm wa fiq yusumaha. Because this is part of the madhab of the Malikiyah. He said, I haven't seen anyone from the people of knowledge and the people of fiq, jurisprudence, fasting it. So meaning, he, Imam Malik lived in the time of the, uh, I believe the Itba'a Tabi'in, possibly the Tabi'in, maybe he met, met Tabi'in, 
like Imam Abu Hanifa was a Tabi'i. Uh, he lived during this time, so he saw the major, you know, major ulama and uh, uh, of Medina, who, you know, met Sahaba, and he said, "I didn't see any of them fasting." So this is his reason why he believes it's disliked. So he's probably aware of this text. He's probably aware of this text, rahmatullah alayh. But since, according to their madhab, the Malikiyah, they use uh, as a hujja. They look at the ulama, the tabi'een, at the time of Imam Malik, what they did. So they f say that if they didn't do it, then it must not be either sahih or it must not be an action uh, to, to practice. So this is their hujjah, is that Imam Malik said he didn't see anyone uh, from Ahl al-Ilm doing it. Although we have a text, the text is stronger. So we go with the strongest of the evidence. And this is, uh, so from this, they said that it was disliked. That it was disliked. And again, as we mentioned, uh, looking at the text to simplify this argument, uh, or another part of their argument, the, the Hanafiya as well, is that they also say that they were fearful that the people would fast the six days of Shawwal and think that that was a part of Ramadan so that they would continue and think that it was part of Ramadan and that it was an obligation however these as the author here is stating these are weak arguments these arguments are not very strong in a in if we put it next to the nust next to the text and the reason being is first we go with the text over the af'al just because you you know imam malik rahmatullah didn't see some of the great imams in his time doing it that doesn't mean that it's still not something that's mishru' or that is uh, something that is uh, liked and preferred. Number two, secondly, their other hujja, their other uh, evidence that they're using for considering this action of Sittu Min Shawal disliked, they, they say that the people might get confused and think it's a part of Ramadan. So when we look at that evidence, it's also weak. That argument is also weak, has some weakness. Why? Because we have Yom Eid today. And all the Muslims, they know that there's a Yom Eid, that Ramadan is ended. So that argument really doesn't carry, uh, carry a lot of weight there. Especially Muqabal al-Nas, especially in front of the text. Or with uh, regard to the text that we have. Uh, the second mas'ala here that we want to talk about, fi hukum tanafil bi siyam sitta qabla ikmal qadal Ramadan. This is very important, especially for the women. What is the ruling regarding praying extra uh, nafila? You know, ek, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not praying, but fasting, extra fast, or the fast of uh, sitta min shawal, before you, ma you made up the Ramadan you've missed. For the women, Ikramakum Allah, many of the women, they have their menses during Ramadan. So they miss perhaps five to seven days, some of the women. Okay? So with this, they have to make qada. Because this, as we know from the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, when she was asked, uh, she said, Umir, Umirna bi qada sawm wa la umirna bi qada salat o kama qalat radiyallahu ta'ala anha she said we were commanded to make up the fast and we weren't commanded to make up the prayer so i think this is well known with that as well this issue arises so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said min sama ramadan thum itba'u sitta min shawal whoever fasts ramadan then uh Pray six days of Shawal. So this shows on the apparent meaning of this text is that perhaps that a person 
they cannot get that six days of shawal until they make qada, until they make up what they missed. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, Men sama Ramadan. That means, you know, and so it, it, the, the, the lev or the alfad the Prophet ﷺ used shows us that this, uh, that this requires, the implicit meaning is that it requires fasting camel. You know that you completed Ramadan. Men sama Ramadan, thumma itzbahu min shawal. Then they they make uh, the six days of shawal. It is as if they fasted the whole year. Ahabatifillah. With regards to this, uh, for example, we mentioned the women in their haith or nifas, or also, if someone had to, they were sick during Ramadan, you know, they had some other shara. They were sick or they uh, were traveling. These are all things which are ma'dhur or they are uh, things which are permissible or reasons why, some, why someone should, would have to break their fast. And with regards to this, another issue arises. D does a person, do they need to make up this Ramadan immediately? Or can they uh, go with the Zahir and Nas of this text that they need to uh, that they need to make up the Ramadan uh, first, that they need to finish the Ramadan before they uh, do the nafila. So if we hook them to nafil, bi siyam ghayr sitta qabla ikmal qada Ramadan. So what is the ruling with regards to praying, uh, uh, fasting, sitta min shawal without completing the qada Ramadan? So the ulama, they have different uh, views on this. Akhtalafat fihi madahib al ulama. Fal madhab. Uh, so ha the Hanabila, the Hanbalis, they say that it's not permissible to tawwa' qabla qada. That it is not permissible to uh, fast or in, in any tawwa, any extra ibadah before doing that which is wajib, before doing that which you are required to finish. So in this case example, with regards to Ramadan, that you have to finish Ramadan before you uh, make up uh, before you fast sitam and shawal. This is the qawla of the Hanabila. This is one of the qawla of Hanabila. And uh, the Shafi'i, the Shafi'iyah, they say that it's permissible to delay uh, with an excuse. And this is also. Uh, with the Hanafiyyah and the Malikiyah. So they say that it is, and it's another ruwai on Imam Ahmed. So Jamhur say that it is permissible to go ahead and fast the six days of Shawal before making up your Ramadan. You use taqdeem at bi siyam ala qada. So it is permissible to fast your sittam in shawal before making up the Ramadan days that you missed. And this is, according to this madhab, which is the majority, the jamhur, as they say that the reason being for this, uh, they use uh, the, the ayat, the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَامِ الْأُخْرِ Then it's, um, it's, that it's um, this it's time can be delayed to another time is a general meaning of the ayat you know it's talking about fasting that the the time of it can be uh, delayed so to speak to another time so with this the, those ulama they say that this is uh, evidence that this time is muwassa. That means that this qada, this time to make up your fasting of Ramadan, that you have, you have time. 
It's not something you have to make a la four, meaning that you don't have to make it immediately. Of course, this is great and better, but you don't have to make it up immediately. It's better to do it the sooner the better so you don't forget, you know, and it doesn't become a haraj or a difficulty at the end of the year before the next Ramadan. But they say that the time is muwassa and they use this ayat as evidence and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, uh, I believe inshallah ta'ala with the jamhur that that is the strongest evidence bi'idnillah ta'ala that the time is, 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 is that there's enough time and the ulama they, they have even more munaqisha on that but that's what we need to know uh, related to this. Uh, another side benefit here is the ulama they say what happens if you get to uh, the month of shawal and you didn't fast you didn't fast it la taqdi that you can't make that up so the soma shawal that is muhad that is mahdud that is restricted to a specific time during shawal and as with Ramadan, but Ramadan, the qada, is muwassa. The making up of that time is a little bit more, you have a little bit more flexibility. You have more time. But shawal, there's no qada for shawal. You can't get to the next month and then start fasting shawal or spread it out during the year. No, shawal has to be, sittam and shawal is during sittam and shawal. There's no qada. And... Uh, because you, you missed it during that specific time, which it is mentioned during Shawal. And some of the ulama, they say, it is also said that some of the ulama say that you can make it up if you had an excuse, okay? Like you were sick, or you were traveling, or as we mentioned, Haith, or something like that. And this is the view of Bin Uthaymeen, rahmatullahi alayhi. Wallah tabarak wa ta'ala alam. So those are some of the Messiah with regards to Sittam and Shawal. And I encourage myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam to fast it and to have some fiqh and insight about these issues. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah azza wa jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.